So right now I'm going to do objective examination. So patient, can you tell me your name? My name is Kyung. Can you tell me your age? Uh, can you do you uh tell me do you know where you are? In hospital. Uh, hospital. Do you know what time is it? Nine. Okay. So, uh, based on the patient's uh, 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 response, I can say that the patient's condition is unsatisfactory. His conformity of uh, appearance to his age, his appearance is looks older than his actual age. His consciousness upon Glasgow Coma Scale is 14. So patient, can you please uh, walk two steps ahead? And walk backwards two steps. So patient shows a false posture. This hand is on the affected side. And based on the look or it has his, his face, patient has the pain face. Uh, patient, can you open your clothes? So, patient has a normal constitution of uh, uh, constitution. Patient's constitution is normal standing. So, next I'm going to uh, uh, check his skin. Okay, patient. Uh, can you turn around? Uh, can you turn around again? Right. So based on inspection, patient's uh, skin color is normal. Patient has there's no pathological changes of the skin, no depigmentation, no hyperpigmentation. There's no scars. There's no uh, no scars, no rashes, no hemorrhages. So next, I'm going to try this. Okay. Turn around, please. Alright. So, patient's skin is dry and also pale. Can you give me your hand? The patient's skin tiger is reduced. Patient, can you lower down your lips, please? Okay. Patient's mucous membrane is moist and slightly yellowish. Can you show me your nails? Patient nails is normal. There's absence of bitterness and pinkish in color. Uh, patient, can you lower down your head a bit? Okay. Patient hair is uh, dark. There's no bitterness, no alopecia, no gray hair. So next, I'm going to uh, check his subcutaneous fat. So patient, can you turn around? Turn around. Okay, so based on inspection, the patient has normal development of subcutaneous fat. Uh, okay, so next I'm going to check his uh, subcutaneous emphysema. So during palpation of uh, there is no capitation, so absent of subcutaneous emphysema. Uh, so next, I'm going to check his edema. Okay. Turn around. Patient, can you sit down? So based upon uh, inspection and uh, palpation, the pa uh, patient has absent edema of the face, chest, lumbar region and also leg. So next, I'm going to uh, check his lymphatic system. So based on inspection, uh, the lymph node uh, is not visible and not enlarged. And now I'm going to palpate. Okay. Uh, patient, tell me if you feel pain, okay? Yeah. You feel pain? No. Okay, patient, can you raise up your head? Can you turn down your head? Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. No. Okay. No. 
So upon palpation, the lymphatic nodes are not palpable and no, there is no swelling. So next, I'm going to check his muscular system. Patient, can you turn around? Uh, can you turn around? Again. Okay, based on inspection, patient muscular system is symmetrical and normal development of the muscle. Now I'm going to pop it. Do you feel pain? No. Feel pain? No. Do you feel pain? No. So upon palpation, uh, patient has no uh, no pain during palpation. Now patient, uh, can you do this? Okay, please resist my strength. Okay, now please pull towards my... Alright, and uh, patient, can you tell me which one is your working hand? Yes, sir. Okay, can you please uh, hold my hand and also the other hand? Okay, now put. Okay, so the patient has uh, the muscle tension and the strength of the patient is decreased. Uh, and okay, so next I'm going to check his bones. Upon inspection, patient bones, uh, there's no deformity, there's no shortening, there's no lengthening of the bones. Now I'm going to pop it. No. If you pain? No. So upon palpation, patient has feel no pain towards his bone. Uh, now, patient, I'm going to check if you have peristitis. Give me your hand. Feel pain? No. Periostitis is absent. So next, I'm going to check his joints. Based on inspection, patient joints uh, is normal. There's no deformity. Next, palpation. No pain. So, upon palpation, uh, patient has no pain. And uh, the temperature, there is no change of temperature. No. Uh, no pain. So, uh, patient joints. Uh, there's no capitation, no fluctuation present on joint on the projection of the joints. So next, I'm going to check his spinal column. Then patient can turn around. So based on inspection, patient's spinal column has normal physiological lordosis, kyphosis, lordosis, kyphosis. Uh, so pop, uh, I'm going to pop it. If you pain? No. Now percussion. Do you feel pain? No. Okay, so no pain uh, during the percussion and palpation of the spinal process. Okay, patient. Uh, can you please bend forward, please? Okay, okay. Can you please bend backwards? Okay, can you please bend sideways to the left and right? Okay, thank you. So, patient's vertebral column is mobile and there's no calculus. So, next I'm going to check is uh, eyes, nose and lips. Can you open your eyes, please? Okay, based on inspection of his eyes, the patient's eyes uh, has uh, the sclera is jaundice and fish uh, nose. Patient nose is normal size and form. Patient lips is quite pale, and but there's absence of scars and uh, fissures. Next, I'm going to check his thyroid gland. You feel pain? No. You feel pain? No. So patient's thyroid gland is not palpable. So next, I'm going to check his body temperature.
so the body temperature of the patient is 37.9 so uh, in conclusion the patient's condition is unsatisfactory the patient has fever of 37.9 so this may be because patient has this may be of the signs because of signs of infection patient has signs of infection and intoxication plus patient also shows signs of dehydration and patient has yellowish skin and jaundice sclera which show signs of compromised liver so for further i want to do lab test which is biochemical blood test urine analysis stool sample and also a liver function test and for instrumental examination i would like the patient to do chest x-ray and uh, ultrasound of the abdominal organ it should be done thank you